Okay, this right here is my family. Um, from after the Chiefs game, when we played at home, we had the party in Oracle Arena with all the family and friends. And, you know, just to have them there, it being my birthday weekend at the time too, you know, that was a great memory for me. They got to meet my coaches, be some of my teammates, and, you know, just have a blast and really get to see how welcoming and hospitable the Raiders family really is. So that was a great day for me, great weekend for me, which we could have won, but uh, just having my family, my people there that I care so much about, that was an amazing day for me. This picture is from OTAs. One of the first few days we were back in April, and I just love this picture because it just shows how uh, intense we are in every moment, whether it's in the spring, uh, with no pads on, no helmets. It's just, we take everything seriously. You can tell by the look on my face that, you know, I'm running that route, I'm trying to be great. So uh, I just love this picture because it set the tone for how we grind for, you know, eight, nine months. And uh, it's not, there's no off season for us. And we take that just as serious as we do the game. So, you know, things like that are what really make the journey what it is. I love this right here. It's my boy Foster. You know, we had a great season together last year, getting to know each other and um, really forming a, a special bond. And, you know, tight ends, man, we get those big hugs in for the game, you know, really showing love to each other, really letting each other know we got each other's backs. You know, that's why I love this picture. I love Foster, man. It's, uh, I feel like we're going to have great careers together. Yeah, you got me spotted right here with the GOAT, Frank. You know, I love Frank to death, just how encouraging he is, just how funny he is, you know, just how personable. He is and how he makes the game fun for us. And it's like, you know, no matter how successful we always are, he's always coming with great coaching points, teaching points of how we can always get better, how we can always improve. But it's just him right here telling me that I need to keep my pads down because, you know, when I get tired or when I lose track of uh, what I got going on, I start to run a little high because I'm tall, but Frank's always on me, always keep me up the details of my game. So I love Frank for that. Wow, this is a special moment right here. This is before the My Cause by Cleats game. And I'm um, with the CEO of the foundation I was representing, the Davis Direction Foundation. This is Missy Owen. I played baseball with her son growing up, and Davis died of a heroin overdose in 2014. And uh, so I wanted to represent Missy and her family and the work that she does in uh, my hometown, my home county. Got her out to the game, and that's her putting the Davis Direction wristband on my wrist. And you know, that was just a special moment, uh, you know, for me being a recovering addict. And, uh, you know, just being able to represent, um, you know, put Davis Direction on the map and uh, really give Missy and her family the respect and recognition that they deserve. So that was a special day for me. Man, this is my dog right here. Might as well be my brother, Stephen Fowler, my best friend, music producer. You know, we formed an amazing relationship over the years. You know, he was one of the only people that really believed in me when I was at my lowest point and just telling me that I was going to be great, that I was going to rise. And, you know, this is right after the Cincinnati Bengals game. And, it was his first time coming to Oakland to see me play. And before the game, we had uh, one of the songs that we made together on my album, Wall Street, was playing on the speakers uh, during warm up. So just moments like that, you know, just make you want to tear up. So just to have him at the game and, you know, just the journey that we've been on as friends and the struggles we've overcome at the same time, you know, that's an amazing moment, man. Steven, I love you if you see this. Um, but yeah, that was special. Okay, this is pure comedy right here. Um, <laughs> I swore I'd never share this picture, but. Uh, this is me uh, the day after my surgery that I had on my thumb after the Broncos game to end the season. And, uh, you know, I was just cleaning out my locker. But, you know, they came in with the George Kittle people's tight end belt uh, that I won from the Jacksonville week. I was a big wrestling fan growing up as a kid. So the title belts and walking around with them, you know, that was my thing. I love doing that. So I had to take a picture with the belt. And uh, I think it's just dope because, you know, you get beat up through the season and uh, it takes a toll on your body, but you're still standing strong and, you know, you're proud of the work that you put in with your brother. So I just love this picture and what it represents. This right here is one of my favorite things to do with the Raiders is uh, getting out in the community on the off day. Uh, I think I only missed like one event. So uh, it just goes to show you that I just really enjoy being at these things and being around the kids and being around my teammates and just serving and giving back. So, uh, you know, this picture was uh, we were playing with kids at an elementary school, um, just running around with them, having fun and uplifting their spirits. So uh, this is one of the times that, you know, it's really fulfilling to us as human beings. And uh, it really gives me a lot of energy to, you know, propel myself uh, through another week and just give it my all and the latest bigger than me.